good YouTube, man? It's Gary with another fan TV. Back at you, another video at the content. This video, go ahead and smash that like button. The content is channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look. Um, so, uh, news that we didn't want to hear became official on Twitter. Lamar Jackson really just uh, officially ruled himself out of this playoff game versus the Bengals and probably even if the Ravens win the rest of the season, uh, potentially, okay? Uh, I'm just going to read this tweet off. Uh, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your support and concerns uh, regarding my injuries. I want to give you all an update as I am in the recovery process. I suffered a PCL grade two sprain on the borderline of a strain three. All right. There is still inflammation surrounding my knee and my knee remains unstable. I'm still in good spirits. I continue with treatments on the road to recovery. I wish I could be out there with my guys more than anything, but I can't give 100% of myself to my guys and fans. I'm, I'm still hopeful we still have a chance to win, all right? Well, we still have a chance, not not to win, but that's what he's saying. Um, so, yeah, man, so that's that's the official news right there. Lamar Jackson has pretty much ruled himself out um, from this Sunday night playoff game versus the Bengals. And this, this leads to a multitude of questions where, first of all, who ruled it a grade one in the first place, which is the big thing, right? When, you know, he's saying it's a grade two on the borderline of grade three. So how did a grade one grade um, even come out? And through the media, how did that even come out? Um, so, yeah, you know, but first I want to say, though, is, you know, support to Lamar Jackson. Um, I never I always thought it wasn't about the contract. He was really, really hurt. You know what I mean? He's a guy that you cannot keep him off the football field. So if, he, if he's off the field, it's for a real reason. It's for a serious reason, okay? Um, so he's always been that kind of stand-up guy that if he can play, he's going to play. So it must be pretty bad. Like you said, he has inflammation and stuff around his knee. Don't want him to go out there if he feel like he can't even perform and be himself. So, 100% support for Lamar Jackson. I uh, understand the decision. It's the right decision. Um, you know, as a fan, of course, I wanted to see him out there. You know what I mean? But um, as somebody who wants the best for him, no problem at all. Take all the time you need. You know what I mean? Uh, the Ravens, you know, they had to find a way to do it without him. You know, it is what it is. It's unfortunate that the second year in a row looks like he's going to have a kind of a season-ending kind of injury. Um now, to me, that still means nothing as far as, you know, should he be paid, this and that, da, da, da. Still give him his money. He'll be fine come next season, you know what I mean? But for this season, it is unfortunate. It looks like Lamar Jackson is not going to play this weekend, okay? Um, and like I said, the Ravens medical staff has come in the fire over recent years, and this is probably another example right here, man. How, you know, he says he's on a borderline of grade three, so he's not even close to a grade one, so how did that even come out, you know what I mean? So that's just something that even leads to more questions about, recovery process and things like that. We think about Rashad Bateman. He was supposed to have a non-serious injury. Then he, then maybe two, three weeks later, we find out that he has to be ruled off for the season. You know, and stuff like this is he's constantly happening uh, where it doesn't seem like the full truth is coming out uh, with the injury report and the status of the players on the team as far as their injuries. Okay? If from the jump, you would have known that Lamar Jackson was going to be out six weeks plus, the expectations, the rumors, all that stuff wouldn't have started because you wouldn't have honesty from the beginning. Now, maybe they thought it was grade one and it changed on them. I don't know. But um, it's all it's just unfortunate all around, okay? Now, that leads to the next part of it, right? Tyler Huntley is back throwing in practice. Um, so, it looks like he's on track, they say, to play. Um, but to me, this, still, this is still a decision to be made whether you play Tyler Huntley or you play Anthony Brown. To me, this honesty is still a decision to be made. Um, the way Tyler Huntley's been playing, the way shoulder tendonitis, the way tendonitis is in general, that's not something that's um, going to get better without extreme rest, okay? He's only been resting the shoulder for a week. He's probably still not going to have full strength in that arm. And, and, and uh, Tyler Huntley's a guy that even when he was at full strength, his arm wasn't the greatest anyway. So now you take that down a notch, that's not good for the Ravens, in my opinion, right? I said this in the in the in the last video, um, I think before. So I would play Anthony Brown, right? I know the Bengals have seen him already. Okay, cool, whatever. I get it as a rookie in a playoff game. I, I honestly believe that if the Ravens have any shot of winning this game, Anthony Brown's the quarterback to go to, okay? Uh Tyler Huntley's arm strength, his ability to make the throws that Anthony Brown, you know, even just attempted on Sunday, last Sunday versus the Bengals, I don't see that happening. All right, I think Anthony Brown gets a chance to have an efficient passing offense. All right, look at the numbers, right? Anthony Brown threw for 286 yards, okay? Obviously, 19 or 44, something like that. So it wasn't the most efficient stuff. But at the same time, there was at least eight drops. It could have been as many as 10, 11 drops in that game. 
by Ravens players, okay? So if the drops get cleaned up and Anthony Brown can limit the turnovers, I think he gives the Ravens the best shot to win that game, okay? Um, like, I like Tyler Huntley, okay? I think he's a he's a true game manager kind of quarterback when people say what a game manager is. Like, you know, he'll keep you ahead of sticks most of the time. He really won't turn the ball over like that. But honestly, he's a little too safe, right? And obviously, you don't want to turn the ball, be turning the ball over in the playoffs. You don't want somebody who's a loose cannon. I'm not saying that. But Tyler Huntley is just a little bit too safe. And then when it comes to take that chance down the field, I don't feel like, one, he can do it because of his arm, and two, because of his mentality, the way he plays, that he'll take that opportunity. We saw Anthony Brown give Sammy Watkins two chances down the field. Sammy Watkins caught them both. Now, he did fumble on one of them. We saw that Anthony Brown gave a jump ball to Isaiah Lightley, and Isaiah Lightley came down with it, okay? Now, that right there is the kind of stuff I've been talking, I've been talking about where give your guys a chance to make a play for you, right? And he did that multiple times. Um, now, listen, I'm not saying Anthony Brown, if he starts this automatic win for the Ravens, of course not. The Ravens are now, with Lamar Jackson being ruled pretty much by himself, officially out, um, according to his own self, the Ravens are facing an uphill battle to win this game. That's just the guy's honest truth, okay? Uh, but to me, if they want to have any chance to win this game, any shot to win this game, I'm playing Anthony Brown. That's just my opinion. You're going to have J.K. back. Gus Edwards came back to practice, okay? Mark Andrews is going to be back, all right? Um, so the full talent of offensive weapons that he really didn't have, because Gus Edwards got knocked out, like, what, first quarter? First the Bengals? So he really didn't even play with Gus. So he's going to have the full talent on the offense that's available out there, all right? And, and um, now, listen, the Ravens, might, Ravens will probably see it a different way. See, Tyler Huntley has the starts, has a little bit more experience, things like that. Cool. And the Bengals haven't played Tyler Huntley this year. You know what I mean? They haven't. You know, Lamar played game one, Anthony Brown played game two. So they haven't seen Tyler Huntley. Now, obviously, there's a lot of film on Tyler Huntley, especially from this season. So it's not like they'll be in for a complete shock. They don't know what to expect. Um, but in my opinion, Anthony Brown's the guy to go to. It's unfortunate news with this Lamar Jackson stuff, right? Um, but like I said, I 100% get it. Um, it's not even a fact of like, oh, he's sitting out because he doesn't want to take a chance. No, he's sitting out because he literally can't play. You know, when he uses words like, my my knee remains unstable, can't go out on the field like that, bro. Can't go out on the field like that. So, I get it 100%. Um, it's obviously very, very unfortunate news, but it is what it is, man. You know, present for Lamar Jackson, present for his knee, that that gets right. And, you know, he's back healthy in the next season. And I still have faith in that he will be the Ravens quarterback going into the next year. Hey, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, but as far as this Sunday versus the Bengals, um, give me Anthony Brown, please. All right, now that's just my thoughts on it. I'll probably um, ask you guys, probably drop a poll or something. Who should start this game, Tyler Huntley or Anthony Brown? Now since we got the official that probably that Lamar Jackson will not play, okay? Um, but I just want to drop this video, make y'all guys this quick update. It's your boy Gary, which is not the fan TV.